Hi, I'm Danielle with Recreated Graphics. This is my son, Wyatt. And today we are going to make masks for the band classes. A couple of the local schools in our district want to be able to play their instruments, but the district is requiring them to have a mask. Not my role, not my choice, but I want the kids to be able to play their instruments anyway. So we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to make these masks. And I'll put the pattern in the comments or the description area. This is my first video, so I don't really know how it works. So I'm using my Cricut Design Space to cut the fabric pattern. So let's go there. Okay. All right, this is my laptop. Here's my design space. I did already give a couple of the masks to the school and that they said that they needed to be a little bit bigger. Uh, because they weren't covering their noses well enough. So we're going to do the unlock button here. And I'm going to make them a little bit bigger where the noses are. And you want to make sure to have the mirrored images on these. We want to make sure they're the same size. So this one is 5.4. So we want this one to be 5.4. 5.456. It looks a little bit smaller, doesn't it? Six. So let's just make them a hair taller because I want to make sure that it works. Oh, and I got to make sure I'm on my Cricut Maker because that's going to cut my fabric for me. I'm weird. My numbers always have to be the same. Okay, give me one second and I'm going to set up my Cricut Maker. Okay, now I have my Cricut Maker out. We're ready to cut. I have my fabric on my mat. Oh, I got to change to my rotary blade. I always forget to change my blade. I am using um, a spandex cotton material only because it needs to be stretchy to be able to reach around the mouthpiece of the instrument. Um, I have another pattern for flute players. I can also do a video on that if anyone requests it, so ask for it in the comments. Crickers, cricket is connecting. For some reason it takes forever. Oh, it's connected. Blue light means it's connected. I'm going to select cotton for my fabric. And we're going to let it cut. Okay, so I have printed my templates on the Cricut Maker. I love the Cricut Maker. I do need to figure out how to... He's in the mood. Okay. Um, sharpen my rotary blade, but I don't know how to do that, so if anybody knows how to do that, can you please put it in the comments because that would be very helpful. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this part and you're gonna fold it over. I'm not changing my thread because I'm just making this for the video. So you're gonna fold it over the best you can. It's not really horribly important. And we're gonna sew that together. It does not have to be perfect. You're going to 
do it with this one and this one. You're going to do the same thing. So you're going to fold these over. And sew it like that. Okay, so when you're done, it should be kind of like a cup. And so what you're going to do is you're going to line up the pleats like so and you're going to pin it this fabric is I'm going to warn you now not easy to work with but it's the only thing I found that stretches nicely around the mouthpiece and will bounce back to hug it as well because it has to be able to hug it for them to play. Okay, I'm going to pin the other one. into each other the back side it is thin material but when you double it up right here you could double the material when you make it if you want that's up to you I don't so the kids aren't sweating but this covers your mouth so it works just fine so we're gonna sew this together my other side too low. So we're going to move that some so I don't run over it. Okay. Now we are going to attach the elastic. I use about seven to seven and a half inches of elastic for each side. I'm going to need some pins. Now we're just going to fold it over on top of it. This is my least favorite part. I'm going to pin it sideways. I am not gonna lie. I am not 
not the best on the sewing machine. But I just want the kids to be able to play their instruments. So I am trying. Okay, now I'm gonna pin the other side. Like all your gear, yeah. it's in the duffel bag in the back seat of the car. Or I brought your helmet in. That's trim this up a little bit. No, that's not what I said. So I'm gonna trim this up a little bit. Sorry, he's getting ready to go to football practice. And like normal, kids can't find anything of their own. Okay, so if you want to, so hold it a little steady, you can do another seam all the way around. So I think I'm gonna do that. Thing on it. Can you help me get it? Give me a minute. Okay. And see the other side. There's the finished product. Right here is the hole. It opens up. 
put the mouthpiece in it. The mouthpiece could probably be a little bit smaller. I think they said that that worked. They're going to trim it depending on the instrument being used. All right, here are the end results. It fits her nice and snug around her nose. Uh, and there you have it. The band face mask. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye.